I also have to thank my, um, my wife, Amber, for, um, for putting up with me, for living with all these... Johnny Depp has lost his Libel case in the London Against the Sun newspaper. They described him as a wife-beater in reference to X, Amber Heard. Judge sides with Johnny Depp, ACLU must reveal if Amber Heard donated $7 million divorce settlement. Johnny Depp has notched a victory in his lengthy legal battle against ex-wife Amber Heard. A New York judge has partially granted a petition from the Pirates of the Caribbean star to determine if Heard donated the entirety of her $7 million divorce settlement to the American Civil Liberties Union and to Children's Hospital Los Angeles, as she pledged. Engagement ring. I do. I have a female engagement ring. On yeah, but you, you are the, you're getting married. Well, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's not typical for a m man to wear an engagement ring, is it? No. Uh, it was. As a result of the ruling, the ACLU must release documents that confirm whether or not Heard followed through on the donation promise, which has become a point of contention in the former couple's legal saga. Mr. Depp is most gratified by the court's decision. Depp's attorney, Benjamin Chu, said in a statement to USA Today. USA Today has reached out to Heard's attorney and to the ACLU for comment. In November, Depp lost a Libel lawsuit in London against the publisher of The Sun tabloid, which has labeled him a wife-beater in a 2018 headline after Heard accused him of abuse in Los Angeles in 2016 as they were ending their short, volatile marriage. The case pitted Depp against a powerful tabloid and its editor, with Heard as their star witness. In March, Depp was refused an appeal after his lawyer, Andrew Caldicott, argued that Heard's donation pledge was a calculated and manipulative lie that tipped the scales against Mr. Depp from the very beginning. Caldicott also alleged one of Heard's intended charitable beneficiaries, Children's Hospital Los Angeles, wrote to Depp's business advisor in 2019 saying Heard had not made any payments. Lawyers for The Sun's publisher rejected the arguments in court in March, saying Heard did not lie about the donations because she was pledging to pay the sums over 10 years. She had made a number of payments already in pursuance of these pledges, said Alan Wolanski, representing newsgroup newspapers. The high court ruling came after a three-week circus-like trial in July, during which Depp and Heard both took the stand and both were damaged by lurid testimony about drinking, drug abuse, fighting, and room trashing. The judge ruled that the great majority of Heard's claims of abuse, as presented by the tabloid's publisher in its defense, were mostly true. Proceedings now move to Virginia where a separate case arose after Heard published a column in the Washington Post in December 2018, proclaiming herself a victim of domestic abuse and suggesting, without actually using his name, that Depp was the alleged abuser. Three months later, Depp filed a lawsuit in Fairfax County, where the Post is printed, seeking $50 million and accusing his ex-wife of defaming him with hoax allegations of domestic abuse. Heard shot back by filing more than 300 pages of documents in Virginia, expanding on the abuse allegations she lodged against Depp during their divorce in 2016, claiming Depp regularly beat her up before she married him in 2015, and continued to do so during their 18-month marriage. In her Virginia filing, Heard attached multiple pages of photos of herself with bruises on her face, scars on her arms, and hair allegedly torn from her head, plus pictures of wrecked rooms, broken glass, and overturned furniture that she says Depp inflicted on their home. She included screenshots of dozens of text messages describing these incidents at the time and excerpts of her divorce deposition describing shocking abuse. But Depp went a step further in the Virginia case in May of 2019, saying that while mixing prescription amphetamines and non-prescription drugs with alcohol, Heard hit, punched, and kicked me. She also repeatedly and frequently threw objects into my body and head, including heavy bottles, soda cans, burning candles, 
television remote controls, and paint thinner cans, which severely injured me. As evidence, he submitted a photo of his black and puffy eyes and scratches. The actor also detailed an alleged attack by Heard one month after their marriage in Australia during his described efforts to get Heard to sign a post-nuptial agreement. Depp said the conversation resulted in the severing of his fingertip from a shattered glass bottle thrown by his then-wife. Johnny Depp has scored a major court victory in his battle to discover if ex-wife Amber Heard stuck to her promise and donated her $7 million divorce payout to charity. Dailymail.com can exclusively reveal. Heard, 35, declared she didn't want Depp's cash after their explosive 2016 breakup and vowed to split the settlement between two good causes, the American Civil Liberties Union and Children's Hospital Los Angeles. But lawyers for the Pirates of the Caribbean star, 58, believe the gesture was a sham and have spent a year chasing exactly how much was donated. They filed a petition in New York Supreme Court for the ACLU to hand over documents proving Heard stuck to her pledge, after it refused to cooperate. Now, a judge has granted 23 of the 24 requests in the actor's motion to compel, meaning the organization must produce the paperwork relating to Heard's charitable contributions. The only thing Judge Arthur Engerin refused was a request for documents relating to the actress's role as a brand ambassador for the ACLU. The judge ruled Depp has satisfied the initial burden of stating the circumstances of reasons underlying the subhoena. The ACLU has failed to demonstrate that the information saw it utterly irrelevant to the action. Thus, for the reasons stated herein, the petition is granted and denied in part and respondents are ordered to comply with all subpoenas with the exception of documents pertaining to Miss Heard's role as a brand ambassador for the ACLU. Depp's victory follows DailyMail.com revealing in January that documents turned over by Children's Hospital Los Angeles suggested they received only $100,000, way short of the promised $3.5 million gift. The ACLU refused to cooperate, but Depp ramped up the pressure by filing a motion to compel in New York Supreme Court to force them to comply with a string of subpoenas and end their outrageous stonewalling. Depp's lawyers want the docs to prove Heard was lying when she boasted about the giveaway, not only in media interviews but in evidence she gave to a London court. The Pirates of the Caribbean star lost a bruising defamation case last year against the UK's Sun newspaper when a British High Court judge agreed the publication's depiction of him as a wife-beater was substantially true, based on blood-curdling accounts of their numerous bust-ups. Giving evidence in a witness statement dated February 26, 2020, Heard stated, I remained financially independent from him the whole time we were together and the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity. Judge Andrew Nicole cited the gesture while deciding the case in the son's favor, writing, Her donation of the $7 million to charity is hardly the act one would expect of a gold digger. Depp, 57, belatedly raised the issue of the missing charity payments when he challenged the ruling his lawyers arguing the UK court was fed a calculated and manipulated lie, designed to achieve a potent favorable impression. A panel of judges said the new evidence wouldn't make any difference, however, and refused his bid for an appeal, saddling him with $840,000 in legal costs.